Sa pasimula ng ating series of video about heat transfer, pag-usapan muna natin itong tinatawag nating steady state heat transfer. So, ang gagamitin nating reference dito is yung Transport Processes and Unit Operations, 3rd edition by Christy Ginkoplis. So, pag-usapan muna natin yung general equation for heat transfer balance. No? So, we have here the rate of heat coming in plus the rate of generation of heat is equal to the rate of heat out plus the rate of accumulation of heat. So, makikita natin dito that meron tayong conservation of energy na nangyayari. No? Now, first let us consider yung conduction process na nangyayari. No? So, let us have a look at this picture right here. So, in here nakikita natin na meron tayong heat na pumapasok dito sa ating material. No? So, let's say we have this material right here. And then the heat will be transferred eventually and will come out dito sa ating other end okay, ng ating material. So, itong delta X natin dito, yan yung length na tinravel ng heat from this side of the material until this side of the material. No? So, making an unsteady state heat balance for the X direction, so ito yung ating X direction, on the element of volume or control volume as shown on this figure, with the cross-sectional area being A expressed in square meters. No? So referring to this, we will have an unsteady state balance as shown below. Now, what we need to consider when we have a steady state heat transfer is that there will be no accumulation and there is no heat generation. So we don't have heat generation, so this will be zero. And we don't have heat accumulation, so this will be zero as well. So basically, ang magiging equation natin for steady state heat transfer, we will have Q, X, and this will be equal to Q, X, X plus delta X. Okay, so ito yung magiging equation natin, no? What does it mean? The rate of heat input, ito yun, okay, as you can see from this picture, no? The rate of heat input by conduction is equal to the rate of heat output. So, equal lang siya. Yung heat na pumasok is equal doon sa rate ng heat na lumalabas. Yan ang condition kapag tayo ay nasa steady state heat transfer. So, in here, the temperatures at various points in the system do not change with time. Now, on the first part ng ating mga discussions and computations na gagawin, we will be doing a steady state heat transfer. So, ang mga i-consider natin are below. Ito yung ating concerns. The control volume where the rate of accumulation of heat is zero. And we have a steady state heat transfer. So, ito yung magiging concerns natin sa mga succeeding videos natin na gagawin. Sa pasimula ng ating mga lecture video about heat transfer. The most important thing that we need to consider when we are dealing with a Steady state heat transfer is that the rate of heat coming in is equal to the rate of heat coming out. So that's all for now guys and thank you for watching. So we would like to ask for your support by subscribing sa aming YouTube channel and please click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ipopost namin. And we would like also to invite you to register sa www.engineers.org. It is an online community for Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Thank you very much and have a nice day.